operations with real numbers. Now for these next examples, we're just going to complete different operations with different types of real numbers, taking into account positives and negatives. So for this first one, we have negative 12 plus 7. So since the bigger number, 12, is actually negative, I know my final answer is going to be negative. And then I'm just going to take 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. So my answer is negative 5. Final answer. Uh, the next problem, we have a fraction, 3 fourths plus negative 5 sixths. So what this question is actually saying is 3 fourths minus 5 over 6. So we need to make a common denominator. So when I do that, I'm going to multiply by the other denominator. Just make it easy. So 4 times 6. And if I do it to the bottom, I've got to do it to the top. So I'm going to multiply by 6. And then I'm going to subtract 5 times 4 over 6 times 4. Now, in my denominator, what I have is 4 times 6, which is 24. And four, 6 times 4, which is also 24. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18. And 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm going to take 18 minus 20 over 24. 18 minus 20 will give me negative 2 over 24. And then I need to simplify the fraction, giving me a negative 1 over 12. And that is your final answer. For these next two examples, we're going to be subtracting the real numbers. So this time, I have negative 8 minus a negative 13. So double negative is going to change to a positive. So what I have is negative 8 plus 13. Now in this case, my bigger number is a positive number. So it's going to be a positive 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5, so it's going to be a positive 5. And that would be my final answer, 5. And the next problem, we have uh, 3.5 minus 12.4. So 3.5 minus 12.4. So once again, my bigger number is negative. So that would mean that my answer is going to be negative. And then I just take the big number minus the small number. So 12.4 minus 3.5 would give me an 8.9. So I have negative 8.9, and that would be my final answer. These next examples, we're going to multiply the real numbers. So when we're multiplying real numbers, we just have to remember what to do with our negative signs. If there's an even number of negative signs, then the answer is going to be positive. If there's an odd number of negative signs, the answer is going to be negative. This first one, we have to understand what we're looking at. We're looking at negative 3 squared. So what that means is we're taking negative 3 times negative 3. Twice, two times there. So negative 3 times negative 3 is going to be double negative, so it's going to be a positive 9. So that would be my final answer, 9. And for this next problem, we have negative 3 fourths times 1 half. So since there is an odd number of negative signs, I know my final answer is going to be negative. And I'm multiplying two fractions together, so I can just multiply straight across giving me 3 times 1 and 4 times 2. So my answer would be negative. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 eighths is my answer. And the last examples here, we're going to divide the real numbers. So for number 7, we see we have negative 3600 divided by 9. Well, if we're going to divide this, we can just divide 36 divided by 9 is 4. 
there's two zeros, so 400. And there is an odd number of negative signs, so it's negative. So your answer is negative 400. Now the next one, we're going to divide. We should note that we have negative 3 fourths divided by negative 2 thirds. Double negative is going to make the answer positive. And then we have to flip the second fraction, and then we can multiply. So what we're going to have is 3 fourths times 3 over 2. And then we just do a multiplication problem. So what I have is 3 times 3 when I multiply the numerators over 4 times 2 when I multiply the denominators, leaving me 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. Make sure it's simplified. It is, and that's your final answer, 9 over 8. So those are your notes over operations with real numbers. Go through some practice problems. Make sure you can do all the different types of operations with different types of numbers. And then you should be able to take the quiz over this material.